today. Um, just sitting here thinking in my, in my quiet time, and um, I'm always reflective, um, very philosophical um, in a sense. So I was sitting here, um, you know, kind of meditating, if you will, thinking, thinking inward thoughts. And I read my Bible. Um, I, I thought about something. I went to Genesis 1. And I ask, I ask God like I, I, I do sometimes when I'm talking personal, personal, personally with God, as I have a personal relationship with Him. God, what is the basis of life? You know, you, in, when you dive into philosophy or understanding or the mind or even the spirit, why are we here? You know, you ask those questions. Um, and I know, I think many people ask those questions, especially when you're experiencing a rough patch or, or you're just having a time to reflect. You say, God, why am I here? What is my purpose on this earth? You might ask yourself. Um, so one of the things that I said was, uh, you know, I'm going to go to Genesis and see what is our purpose since the beginning of time. And sure enough, I've, I've done it before. Um, um, and, 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 you know, it, 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 it I've asked that question, and I've also went to Genesis many a time, saying the answer is in Genesis. And every time I'm in a kind of a deep state of mind, I go to Genesis for the answers. But I went there again, and it was three things that, maybe four things that the fathers that that, that was a blessing to me. And I want to show these four things. What is life? What are the four, three, three or four essential barriers of life? What what? What are the what are the three? Well, I say like this: What are the three or four essential qualities of a good life, of a life period, whether you're rich or poor? Three or four things, and these are off, off the mind because I remember them. Cause I just read them. Number one, God created this earth. He created this vast earth for us to enjoy. Animals, fruits, vegetables. Um, he created a vast earth, trees, mountains, valleys, oceans, pond, uh, rivers, you know, um, even though, you know, you think a pond is man-made, but God created all, all the vast earth. And the weird thing about it is now so many people are in the structure of a nine to five that they can't even, or, or lack of finances, <clears throat> they can't even travel around. To necessarily see the the expense uh, the the beauty of the earth, or even in their community or their uh, their area, they don't value seeing things. You know they they don't value seeing the beauty of things, so they miss it. So number one, God created the earth for us to enjoy. You know to see. Um, number two, the Bible says that. He created men, meaning he created us in his likeness. That means humans are important. We're, we're not just important because of ourselves. We're important to each other. And we have to remember that. We have to value human beings so much because we have to remember that not only was I, imp- I created in his image, she, he, they were created in his image as well. That's number two. Number three, God said, be fruitful and multiply. Having children or having a family, meaning children or adoption or, you know, many cousins or siblings, that's a big blessing from God. I believe so many people, especially of our culture, of our community, are at the bo- or, or at the bottom because they don't have strong ties or connections to the family. Because, see, when you got a family, when you, when you have many children or, or, or whatever, I just say family, you're able to talk, you're able to come up, you're able to scheme, you're able to have love, you're able to comfort. You, Those are human qualities. Humans need somebody to talk to. They need somebody to love. They need somebody to laugh with. They need somebody to work with. They, they need that. And when you have siblings or when you have cousins or when you have children, when you have a nice-sized family, even if it's not a lot of kids per se, you're able to do that. Family is one of the most important things. It is the foundation that God laid for us in, since the beginning of time. Number four, work. God put Adam in the garden to tend to it. 
But the thing that's different from the Bible and from Adam and for today, when you worked, you worked for yourself. You was a shepherd for who? Probably yourself. You might have a few 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 animals. Uh, you was a farmer for who? Yourself. I mean, in the modern day, that'd be like somebody farming is taking their product to the farmer's market or something like that. You know, that's that's um, you know that 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 that's that that's that what you, you it's similar to that. So that's a quality working, whether it's having your business. See, but now everybody is working for other people. Everything is so corporatized that people are so depressed. They're depressed because they, they, you got to tell them when to be there, when to eat, when they can leave, when they're going to do mandatory overtime. They feel like they don't have control over their life anymore. You know, when you're an entrepreneur, you definitely see it like that. So those are all the, all the, all the, all the ingredients, uh, basic, basic qualities of life. Creation of earth. You know what I'm saying? This is a place that God gave us. Number two, humans value each other. Number three, family value family. Have you know, you know, intimacy with, with your wife. That's that's important. And that, that that ties along with it's not good for man to be alone. And then number four, work. You have to find something that is fulfilling to you and, and, and something that you're you're able to do. Because work will fill a large chunk of your life. And if it's something that you hate doing, that will cause you to be be depressed and be down. And you can bring that to your home front. So those are, are a few qualities that, that I that I just picked up, you know, as I was just meditating in my quiet time. So I hope that blessed somebody, man. I'm D. I'm signing out. Y'all have a blessed night, man.